Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip and today we're going to be talking about waypoints. Now if you've never heard the term or you're not familiar with what it means, don't worry. This isn't all that complicated because chances are if you're watching this video, you already understand the concept. What you're missing is marrying the word waypoints with the concept of waypoints. And I'll give you a prime example of this. Let's say that you want to travel from New York to Los Angeles. And you go to Google Maps to do this. Say, just take me from New York to Los Angeles. This is the route that it's going to give you. Now, if you look at this, you're going to see that you're going to be going through you know, states like Illinois and Nebraska and Colorado. So you're going to be going by Chicago. You're going to be going through Lincoln, Nebraska. You're going to be going through Denver, Colorado. Those are waypoints. Now, if you want to stay in those cities, that's fine. But in terms of your entire trip, going from New York to Los Angeles and you hit all these towns, those are waypoints. They're simply intermediate positions along your intended path of travel. You can use waypoints in everyday life. Let's say this afternoon that you need to go to, let's say, the grocery store and you need to go to the bank. You need to pick up your laundry at the dry cleaning and then you need to go to the school to pick up your kids. So you get up out of your car, you drive to the grocery store, you buy your groceries, you swing by the bank, you swing by the, uh, the, the dry cleaners, and then you pick your kids up from school and go back home. The grocery store, the dry cleaners, the bank, the school, those are all waypoints along your trip. You're leaving your home, you're coming back home, but you're going from point to point to point. Now one could even argue that the intersections that you make these turns at are actually waypoints. And in a sense, they are. Street intersections, any geographic location that you can point on a map could be a waypoint. Now, how do we use this in backcountry navigation when you've got a, a topographical map and your trail is located out? So I'm going to show you how to do this in a very simple and crude map that I made on the computer. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you that. Okay, so you, let's use this basic fictional map that I came up with on the computer. You heard from some friends that this is a great two-day trip. You hike into the campsite from the trailhead, you spend the night, and then you take the second day and you hike back out the reverse process. Now there are three waypoints along this trail that are easily identified. One is where the trail parallels Mosquito Creek, one is the scenic overlook, and the third is where the trail crosses Chigger River. And this is pretty straightforward on using waypoints, mostly as a psychological effect, that you can say once you leave Mosquito Creek, you're about halfway there. Scenic Overlook, you may think, well, that'd be a great place to stop and have lunch. And when you cross the river, you know you're getting close to your campsite. That's pretty simple. And, of course, you reverse the process as you come back out. First thing after you leave the campsite is you cross the river, you pass the scenic overlook, again you'll follow Mosquito Creek as a handrail back to the trailhead. But let's make it a little bit more complicated by introducing Flint Ridge Trail and Mustang Canyon Trail. There are now an additional five waypoints along this, in this map. One is where the Flint Ridge Trail meets Two Day Trail, as well as where it crosses both Mosquito Creek and the Chigger River. The other two are where the Mustang Canyon Trail meets the two-day trail, and again where the Mustang Canyon Trail parallels Chicka River and uses it as a handrail. And let's say you were going to take this same trip, but the first thing you do is you start to cross a waterway. Now you know you're on the wrong trail because it's way too soon to be crossing a waterway, plus you haven't reached the waypoint of the scenic overlook. So at this point you know you're on the wrong trail, and you can use this as a navigation aid to realize that, and you need to backtrack and get back on the right trail. Again, if you have passed the scenic overlook, and you're looking to cross the river, and you find yourself following the river, using the river as a handrail to the right, you know that you're on Mustang Canyon Trail. You need to backtrack and find your, your correct trail, the two-day trail, to the campsite. These are ways waypoints can be used in your backcountry navigation. Now, I can't give you all the possibilities and all the ways that you can look for and use and utilize 
waypoints. But this gives you a simple demonstration of how, how easy they are to identify if you sit there and look at a map as well as use them. Now one could make the argument that there's more than eight waypoints on this trail. One can make the argument that say this sharp bend in the trail is a waypoint. One can make the argument where the trail either meets or leaves the creek or the river would be a waypoint. True. Though you can make that argument. Make the waypoints that make sense to you when you're out there on the trail. Some of them are going to be obvious. Some of them you won't see until you're actually out there on the trail. But this gives you an idea of a way waypoints are used for backcountry navigation. And that, folks, is waypoints simply defined, how you use them in your backcountry navigation. So hopefully this is just another tool you can put in your toolbox. Um, it doesn't add any weight. It doesn't take up any space in your backpack. It all sits up here. It's just another way to help you navigate, either actually help you navigate to make sure that you're on the right path, or simply give you a psychological boost to say, hey, I know I'm at this position along the path. So with that, Waypoints Explained, this is Backpack Hack. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out there on the trail.